Hello everybody and I am back with another video and today we will be launching two rockets to the surface of Titan. Not just one, but two. If you paid close attention to the thumbnail, you might have noticed that there's both a habitation module and a lander on the surface of Titan. This rocket we're launching right now is the lander. No it's not, it's the habitation module. There went the solid rocket boosters and there goes the first stage. Uh, the rocket was inspired by the Saturn V, as you could obviously tell by the first stage. And there goes the fairing as well. There's a habitation module exposed to the vacuum of space. And, yes, if you noticed, those are the new engines that came in with the new update. The new Peregrine engine, which is a very useful engine for the vacuum of space. Not that great for, you know, a first stage. We finally get an equivalent for the Titan engine, but for the vacuum of space, which is amazing. And I set my Saturn transfer right there. I missed it on the first orbit, but got it on the second, which is cool. And now I'm firing and I'm about to run out of fuel, like right about there. And they're jettisoned the transfer stage. And you can tell the lander, or not the lander, the habitation module looks really cool. That's because I based it off not only the SpaceX Dragon, but also from the ships at the end of Don't Look Up. If you haven't seen that movie, it's great. It's on Netflix. It's about this comet that is heading to Earth and no one in the world cares because they're all like concerned over social media. It's kind of like an exaggeration of like real life, of like what would happen if something like that happened <laughs> anyway approaching titan and yeah i'm going straight into the atmosphere because i don't have enough fuel you know to get into orbit oh sorry about that it's just i kind of have a cough and i can't really i've already split this commentary into two segments this is the third if you if you've noticed an audio difference that's probably why because you know i my it it irritates it irritates my throat so yeah i can't you know record in one long segment so like if i just stop talking at one point in the commentary that's probably because you know i just you know but we're still gonna keep going uh entering the titan atmosphere and as well as the low part of the atmosphere oh god i can't keep doing this uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't I don't want to leave the video in just nothing but music so I don't know what I'll I'll probably find some music with like lyrics or something or no no wait what am I saying no I I, I can do this uh, activated physics time warp because I didn't want to wait for like the you know spacecraft to uh, descend and you can see right there, I was going to land in a sloped area, but I, you know, I was like, nope, it's probably going to slide off the, you know, slope. So I was aiming for that flat area right there. Like you can see it right there. It's a nice flat area. And yeah, touchdown right there and deploying the little, oh wait, not yet. Right there, deploying the little ramp on the thing for the astronauts to get out although the astronauts are not you know there yet there are the astronauts right there on the second rocket you might have noticed that this rocket looks kind of identical besides the fairings to the one i use for the single launch base to titania is that a coincidence that i'm launching the same rocket to titan and i launched the same rocket to titania too uh maybe but i didn't want to build an entire new rocket for it and plus this rocket had a lot of delta v so you know i just i was like you know i'll just reuse it that was another cut by the way if you didn't notice uh making it into orbit now deploying the solar panels on the spacecraft and making my saturn transfer and this time i got it in the very first orbit which is great although for this spacecraft it was very very difficult to turn which 
<laughs> I don't know. It kind of took forever to turn. As well as the other lander, the habitation module. So yeah. This would be a very cramped capsule to, you know, for a long journey to Saturn. Well, I mean, at least they'll have more room in the, uh, in the base on the surface of Titan. And if you're like, oh, but you promised to make a base. Okay, uh, this is technically a base. So I kind of did what I, you know, what you guys told me to. So, yeah, this is technically a base. Uh, approaching Titan and entered the sphere of influence of the, I was gonna say the planet, the moon. I had to close the solar panels to make it more realistic to enter the atmosphere, but as you'll see later, it was not realistic at all. It was almost tragic. <laughs> By, I almost lost all of the crew members. And wait for it. Right there, it started tumbling and I was like, oh no, what do I do? Guys, it's it's seriously so irritating when I talk loud like that. But I'll, I'll still keep doing it, just for the commentary. Uh, yeah, the heat shield under the engine looks very, like, awkward and out of place. And it really doesn't serve its purpose. You know, it, it's kind of useless. But hey, I just did it for aesthetic purposes. And, uh-oh, low battery, uh, 10%. Uh, don't worry though, my phone didn't die during this recording, so you know it won't it won't abruptly, you know, stop. I tried landing to, like as close as possible to the base. So yeah. Also, yeah, that was a heat shield. I realized, oh shoot, I could get rid of it. And yeah, that's what I did right there. And deploying the landing legs and Touchdown! We have touchdown on the surface of Titan. And deploying solar panels, checking the fuel on the capsule. Or no, I was actually just turning off the RCS thrusters. There's a moon. And we have reached the end of the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry that I sound this way. It's just, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, yeah, all my socials are in the description and bye.